There's this amazing story of a companion. His name is Abu Dahdah. He was this beautiful, beautiful man who lived with the Prophet ﷺ. And he owned this amazing garden. Like if you were to ask anyone in Medina, who has the greatest orchard, greatest palm field, they would say Abu Dahdah. And one day a young orphan came to the Prophet's masjid and he came complaining. And the Prophet empathized with this young man because he was an orphan. This young man, his father had recently passed away and the responsibility of looking after his family fell squarely on his shoulders. Now in the desert of Arabia, if you didn't sequester your animals well and keep them behind fences and they ran out in the desert, they don't come back, they die there. So this young man, he came to his neighbor and said, I want to build a fence because now that my father's passed away, I can't do too many chores and look after the animals and look after things. Can I build a fence between my property and your property so that my animals don't go out into the desert? And for me to be able to do that, you need to sell me this tree that is right on the boundary of our land. Either give it to me or sell it to me. I need to cut it down and build the fence through it. And the man said, no, which is in his right. It's his tree. And after weeks, he would up the pride. And the man said, no, I'm not going to do it. Finally, this young child comes to the Prophet and says, you know, the world is on my shoulders. I'm looking after my family. I'm a breaking point. And this man, I'm just asking for that one tree. I'm not asking for much. Can you please talk to him on my behalf, O Messenger of God? And the Prophet invites the man and sits him down and honors him, doesn't humiliate him, and says, will you give it to him out of generosity? He says, no. Will you sell it to him? He says, no. Not after I've been had a complaint come to you about it. You know, arrogance sometimes it pushes you away from the truth. He said, how dare this young boy, this little kid, bring my name to you and humiliate me in this way in front of you. I will never sell it to him. I'm going to teach him a lesson. And the Prophet says to him, if you were to sell him that tree, I would guarantee you a tree in Jannah. Like you have a place in paradise. And that man said, no. You know, sometimes your heart closes. That rahmah and that compassion is lost. Now, not even for a tree in paradise. And leaves. Abu Dahdah, he is not involved in this, but he's sitting in the masjid and he hears this. And he owns this wonderful garden. Abu Dahdah runs after this man and says to him, I will give you my garden for that one tree. The man says, are you crazy? Give me your whole garden for that one tree? He said, yes. He said, it's an evil tree, this tree that I've had to reject an offer like this from the Prophet. He regretted it, but he was too proud to go back. Abu Dahdah said, the garden is yours. And he went back to the Prophet ﷺ and he said, Ya Rasulullah, I give you this tree to give to that young orphan. Will I still have that tree in Jannah? And the Prophet said, Kam min radahin, ya Abu Dahdah. Your tree is so abundant of fruit. You know, that treatment of a young person, that treatment of an orphan. For us as Muslims, it's connected to our love of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And therefore when Allah says to the Prophet, Alam yajidka yatiman fa'awa, didn't he find you an orphan and look after you? At the end of the same chapter, the Prophet is told, فَأَمَّ الْيَتِيمَ فَلَا تَقْهَرَ Therefore the yatim, that orphan, you yourself, what you experience, don't ever forget that moment. And when you see an opportunity to be helpful, do it. And that's the aim of our ummah.